One of the most common videos I've been having researched on my YouTube channel is ulnar nerve stretches. So I thought I'd talk about the ulnar nerve entrapment today. Uh, let's go through really what it is, how you should prevent it, and some treatment approaches you can take. The most common nerve entrapment sites for the ulnar nerve are up at the brachial plexus. This is where it becomes entrapped within the, within the anterior medial scalene muscles. Uh, also down at the cubital tunnel, which is right around here. Uh, it can get entrapped anywhere along the uh, flexor corporeal narus, which actually goes through two heads of this muscle, uh, and also down at the wrist. The most common nerve entrapment sites for the ulnar nerve are up at the brachial plexus. This is where it becomes entrapped within the, within the anterior medial scalene muscles. Uh, also down at the cubital tunnel, which is right around here. Uh, it can get entrapped anywhere along the uh, flexor corporeal narus, which actually goes through two heads of this muscle, uh, and also down at the wrist. Most entrapments of the ulnar nerve can present in the same way. They feel almost the exact same way, uh, and that's going to be numbness around uh, the front part. So we're looking right here, right around the front part of the outside part of the arm, but mostly in the fingers itself. Uh, we're talking about the last digit, so the pinky finger, as well as half of the ring finger. These are very common areas for numbness. Uh, commonly, this is also mistaken with thoracic outlet syndrome. That's another thing you can look up. Be aware that although I say that it can happen this way, there's multiple different ways that nerves can be entrapped. Uh, some of the more serious are disc herniations up and around the neck. Uh, osteophytes or bone spurs, even tumors and cancers, all this type of thing, all these types of things uh, can cause almost the same type of presentation. So it's really important to get evaluated uh, by someone that knows what they're talking about. So what we're looking at here, um, this has been my demonstration for a while now about uh, scar tissue and overuse and uh, basically how nerve entrapments can happen. Just consider, so this is a mop. Uh, this is a mop that I actually dipped in paint and you see that the top part here, and I'll scoot a little closer, the top part actually uh, is, is very fine. Uh, it separates really well. Uh, there's not lots of clumps and stuff within it. So down down here, what you have is an area that's been overused. For whatever reason, this can be considered, uh, let's say, the anterior and medial scalenes uh, or the flexor carpal narus or some of the muscles around the wrist. The uh, fact of the matter is, a lot of times, um, the ulnar nerve actually goes through areas of these damaged tissues. So let's say you have this part here on top of this part here. Let's just say it's two parts of the flexor carpal narus uh, and the nerve is my finger and it goes right through and it gets stuck in there. If you can imagine everything just kind of being stuck in there, not sliding well, that's basically what happens when you have overuse injuries uh, causing, causing nerve entrapments. Now how to fix this problem, uh, it's, it's really up to you. I have things that I prefer to do. I like to do active release technique and really aggressive soft tissue work to break up some of the scarring. Uh, and if we have this mop again, basically you got to separate these fibers all apart because they're all stuck together. And when the nerve's stuck between them, they're going to decrease. It's going to decrease the amount of slide the nerve really needs to function well. Uh, it can almost squash it down like a like a garden hose. Basically, and the nerve kind of dies at the end. Don't forget to check out our ebook at the website below.